Usman Dembele was signed back in 2017 for an incredible 110 million euros back when Barcelona were forced to sell Neymar to PSG. Since then, it's actually been incredibly difficult for the club to justify his price tag. In fact, he's probably spent more time playing Fortnite or being injured in the hospital. Then again, Dembele has still shown signs of what a great player he could be in the future, scoring important goals for Barca in La Liga, the Spanish Cup and even in Super Cup finals. But at the same time, he also misses sitters in the Champions League that have led to them getting knocked out of the competition. It's been a hit and miss signing, I suppose. But we're here to change that with Usman Dembele. We're gonna try and save his career and hopefully get him to the heights of what everybody expected him to reach back when he was at Dortmund. So in today's video, we're gonna be simulating through five seasons of Dembele's career, trying to make him potentially become one of the best players in the world. Throughout the course of this challenge, we're gonna be keeping tabs on how many goals, assists and trophies Usman Dembele can win. If you guys are excited for today's FIFA 21 career mode challenge, make sure you drop a like on the video. Let's try and smash out 4,000 likes. Also, subscribe for daily FIFA career mode content. Alright guys, so let's kick things off. So we're at Barcelona at the moment. You guys know the squad Barcelona have. It's, it's very good, but I feel like for Dembele to, you know, save his career, maybe a move away from Barcelona, away from the scrutiny and the pressure could be the place. So, in hopes of trying to save Dembele's career to try and make him a Ballon d'Or worthy player, we're gonna transfer list him and follow him on his journey away from Barcelona. Well, this should be fun. The first offer we get for Usman Dembele is from Atletico Madrid. Now, uh, I don't want to do this, guys. I don't want to send Dembele to play under Simeone. That's just not going to get the best out of him. We're here to save his career, not ruin it. So, I think I'm going to reject this one from Atleti and wait for a better club to come in. You know what, guys? This might be the perfect move for Usman Dembele to continue his development. A move to Arsenal, a club where a lot of Frenchmen have gone and succeeded. This might be the play. And well, 63 million is the transfer fee. Usman Dembele is going to sign with Arsenal. I've only just realized that we're reuniting Dembele with Aubameyang. So I think he will succeed at Arsenal. He signed a contract worth 96,000 per week in terms of wages. Well, let's begin his career at Arsenal. Here we've got Usman Dembele at his new club with the likes of Aubameyang, Nicola Pepe and all. Let's see how Arsenal can do in season one. And let's see what Dembele does with his stats and maybe winning a few trophies with Arsenal. Although, that's going to be tricky. Let's sim until the end of Season 1. Oh wow, we're at the end of Season 1 and Usman Dembele has had a brilliant season. 23 goals and 10 assists. He's the second top goal scorer at Arsenal. This is incredible. 10 goals in the Europa League. Surely that makes him the top scorer in that competition. Yes, indeed. Usman Dembele wins the top scorer award in the Europa League. That is incredible. Maybe the move to Arsenal was the right one. In terms of player growth as well, Dembele, I think, has grown the most in this team, going from 83 to 86. And some of those stats now just look insane. Unfortunately, though, all that wasn't good enough for Arsenal to finish high up in the Premier League 10th is a bit embarrassing. Like, honestly. Man United, though, end up winning the Premier League with 80 points. It's Liverpool who win the Community Shield, beating Arsenal in the final. Could have been an opportunity to win a trophy. West Ham, out of all clubs, win the FA Cup? That's mad. It's Manchester United who win the Carabao Cup over Chelsea. Do we actually even win a trophy? Let's see who wins the Champions League first. Real Madrid versus United, we don't really care about this, but the Europa League, since Dembele is the top scorer, yup, it's happened. Arsenal win the Europa League, so Dembele wins a bit of silverware in his first season here at Arsenal. Have a look at Dembele's stats, he's now at Arsenal, 86 rated, 23 goals and 10 assists from the first season, but since Arsenal performed so poorly in the league, I feel like it's time to take another step away and go to maybe a bigger club than Arsenal. Let's see if we can pull that off in Season 2 here. I think it's time to take a step away from Arsenal in Season 2 and I've put him on the transfer list and let's see what kind of clubs we get offers from. Now we get an offer from RB Leipzig. I just don't feel like that's a step up for Usman Dembele. So I'm not sure, man. I'm really not sure about this. So I guess I'm going to reject this one. Atletico Madrid really want Usman Dembele, man, and they're willing to offer Marcus Llorente in an exchange deal. That is interesting. Oh, and Ajax want him as well. Ajax could be an interesting one, but I just, I just feel like, nah, man, these are not upgrades over Arsenal, so we're just going to be patient and wait for the correct offer. Now, that's what I'm talking about. This seems like a fantastic move for Usman Dembele for his career progression. Inter Milan want to sign him. They're willing to offer Joel Matip in a swap deal, 50 million, 
the transfer fee isn't what matters. I feel like this is it, Dembele to Inter Milan. That's a lot of fun and could really take his career to the next level because I'm sure Inter are going to compete for Serie A as well as maybe the Champions League at some point. So this is the move we're going to be picking. Let's join Inter. Inter Milan and Arsenal have agreed terms over Usman Dembele. He's going to be joining the Italian Giants and this seems like a fantastic transfer. He's now worth 92.5 million. He's got a salary bump as well, 140,000. 86 rated as well. Time to move to Inter and see how Dembele performs. Time for season 2. Here's the new Inter team Usman Dembele will be slotting into. Of course, he's going to be playing in that 3 at the back Conte formation. On that left side, I feel like he's going to be comfortable there, hopefully at least. This Inter team is actually very decent with Lautaro and Memphis, their pie up top. You've got Llorente, Eriksen, Nainggolan, Skriniar a good keeper in Handanovic. Let's see how Dembele can take his career now, maybe to the next level. Inter, by the way, are in the Champions League. So for now, let's him until the end of the season and see how things turn up. Feels like Usman Dembele had to deal with a few injuries this season. And I'm not really surprised. He only played in 19 games in the Serie A, which is a real bummer. He featured for the most part in the Champions League. Just four goals for him in the Serie A. Total six goals and two assists. I kind of feel like things are left undone here at Inter and that's why Dembele may need another season to, you know, succeed here. So I think we'll do another season with Inter, but yeah, these stats are kind of disappointing. Player growth-wise, he's taken another good step forward. 86 to now an 88 rated player with, yeah, the stats are just unbelievable. The finishing and all need to go up a bit more, but 88 rated. Yeah, he's getting close to his max potential at least. The good thing is Inter Milan do end up winning the Serie A and that's another trophy for Usman Dembele, his second of this challenge. What happened in the Super Cup? It's Inter, so that's his third trophy. Yo, he's up to three trophies already, beating Juventus in that final. Napoli beat Inter in the Coppa Italia final. That's a bummer. What about the Champions League? Juventus end up winning it. Where did Inter get to? Ah, so Inter got knocked out by Barcelona of all teams in the quarters. That's a real shame. How is this a Europa League final? I'm confused. Bayern Munich versus Real Madrid in the Europa League. What's going on here? Underwhelming stats, but at least Dembele bagged a few trophies this season. We're gonna stay another season at Inter, but this time I may take a different approach and maybe help out the Inter squad by making a few signings, because of course Dembele can't do everything on his own. Okay, so I'm thinking for this season we sign a few defenders and maybe another midfielder to improve the team. And and I think this team can win it all, so let's get to it. In other news, we've got the FIFA World Cup going on, and Usman Dembele has made the squad for the 2022 Qatar World Cup, which is awesome to see. Funnily enough, Benzema is somehow there in the squad. Let's see if France can win the World Cup. So guys, Usman Dembele has won his second World Cup trophy already. That is just mad, like honestly, two World Cups for Dembele. 3-1 against Portugal in the final. They knocked out Russia in the semis, Brazil in the quarters, and who did they knock out? Austria in the round of 16, and they of course topped their group. That's mad. Hilariously enough, Dembele didn't really have any sort of a meaningful contribution in the World Cup. He only got one assist, but that's about it really. Now time to get back to business with Inter Milan, and well, we've started off strong, signing Rafa Varane for 104 million. I'm telling you, man, we're trying to improve this team to get the best out of Dembele. And I think signing a defender is just the start. We've also made the signing of Marco Verratti to improve the midfield. And we're rocking now with Varane and Verratti in this team. It's looking solid. Dembele is in there, of course. Let's hope he can have a better second season with Inter. Let's him until the end and see if we can add some more trophies. Dembele so far has been winning a lot. Now, this is much better from Usman Dembele in his second season at Inter Milan. He finishes second top scorer. More goals than Lautaro Martinez. 19 goals this season. Six assists. He played most of the Serie A and the Champions League games. And in the Champions League, seven goals. That's... That's not too bad. He's had a very good season. And even player growth-wise, he's gone up by another couple of ratings. Maxed out his sprint speed and acceleration. He's probably the fastest player in the world right now. Stats-wise, incredible. Wow, this has not been the best of seasons for Inter. They finished fourth in the Serie A. That's a big surprise considering they won the title last season. What about the Italian Super Cup? Well, that's another trophy we get to add. That makes it five trophies now for Dembele. What about the Coppa Italia? Yep, another trophy for Inter. That's six. Super Cup, who wins that? It's Juve. What about the Champions League? It's Borussia Dortmund. Where did Inter get knocked out? 
by Borussia Dortmund in the quarters. That's a bummer. What's up with the Europa League getting all these big teams like City beating Barcelona in the Europa League final is, is a bit sus. Statistically a good season I suppose for Usman Dembele won a couple of trophies. He's up to 48 goals now and we're three seasons in. A couple more seasons to do in this challenge and I think with Usman Dembele now being 90 rated it's time to look for a top, top tier club so that we can try and win the Champions League. Oh boy, now this is going to be fun. Manchester United coming in with an offer and they want to give away Mason Greenwood as well in the deal. Interesting, Usman Dembele to Manchester United. This would be a realistic thing to do because in real life, I, I do remember United wanted Dembele. So you know what? This is going to be fun. We're going to make this happen. For 100 million, we've negotiated with Man United for this one. Dembele is going to be on his way to Manchester United. I think this is by far the best squad we've got Dembele in. Because just look at this team. It is outrageous. Marcus Rashford, 90 rated. You've got a midfield with Van der Beek, Bruno Fernandes. Up top, Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Look at this defense. Like, the overalls are just nuts. I can probably put in Theo Nandes in there as well. And even the bench is crazy good. Deli Ali, Greenwood, Lukaku, all of them on the bench. This is actually mental. Well, let's see how things progress for Manchester United. A couple of seasons here, I think, is how we're going to end off this saving Dembele challenge. Let's see what we can win. I think stats-wise, a player as good as Dembele being 91 rated had to be getting more goal contributions. Just 14 in 54 games with 8 assists. I mean, that's so underwhelming, I feel. Well, let's see if Man United collectively won trophies. Oh, wow, this is bad. Fifth in the Premier League, no Champions League football next season. Wow. So I guess Dembele isn't going to win the Champions League in this uh, challenge. Incredible. Fifth in the Prem. That's mad. Did we even win a single trophy? We lost the Community Shield to Liverpool. FA Cup at City that won. Carabao Cup, Arsenal. And Champions League. We, we got knocked out in the semi-finals to Liverpool. And it's by Leverkusen of all teams to win it. This has been a disaster. 62 goals and 27 assists for Dembele. Six trophies in the last four seasons. We've got one more season to go. Let's see if Dembele can see some growth in his overall. Only a plus one this season. Final season, time for it. Time for the final season with Manchester United. Let's get through this season and see how Dembele progresses. What's the overall he's going to hit at the maximum? He'll be 28 at the end of this challenge. Well, let's get through this. No growth on Dembele's overall in the final season here at Manchester United. But stats-wise, he's looking good. 21 goals and 7 assists. He looked dominant in the Europa League as well. So that's actually pretty amazing. Just one goal off Marcus Rashford to finish top scorer for Man United this season. Development-wise, I guess this is where we've maxed out Usman Dembele. 99 pace, 86 shooting, 87 passing and 93 dribbling. 69 physical as well. Incredible, he's 28 and this is Usman Dembele at his prime. Nah man, this is such a bummer. Dembele misses out on winning the Premier League again. Four points off Man City, that is just... Uh... Brutal. Do we end up winning any other trophies though this season? City won the FA Cup as well. Are we going to go trophy less in our final season with Dembele? Chelsea win the Carabao Cup. UEFA Super Cup. Leicester City. Champions League. Bayern Munich, of course. Do keep in mind. Um, Manchester United weren't in there. You know what? Seeing Arsenal here in the final makes me think maybe staying at Arsenal from that first season itself was the right play, but oh well. Europa League, Manchester United. So Dembele wins his second Europa League. At least he won something in the final season. Stats-wise, this is how we wrap things up with Usman Dembele. Do you think we've saved his career? Like post-Barcelona, he's won seven trophies in five seasons, scoring 83 goals and 34 assists. Injury-wise, he's had like one season where he had a few injuries, but I think he's done over. Okay, could have done better, especially with how high the overall was. I think we kind of made mistakes choosing teams. We went from Barcelona to Arsenal, Arsenal to Inter for a couple of seasons, and then we wrapped things up at Man United. Maybe joining a bigger club like Bayern Munich could have helped him win more trophies, but... Oh, well, I still think we've done a decent job. With that, this is how we're going to be ending off the Saving Dembele video. If you've enjoyed this one, I'd really appreciate it if you could drop a like. It took me ages to make this video. Subscribe if you're new around here and, well, I'll catch you all next time.